Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your channel. Hey, I see you squandered. But you tell him you're a fine man. Oh. Big things, he got a dynamo. first time here hi my name is Ashley and I'm God's favorite child if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back this has been long overdue this video has been overdue like genuinely speaking everyone has been asking me Ashley how did you do it how did you do it how did you do it and I got so frustrated and fed up by continuously saying I do this I do this I do this so if you are an A-level student and you would like to know how I obtained 20 points in my A-levels, stay tuned for what's coming. Keep on watching. Like, this is the video for you. Guys, please share this video to someone who is in A-level. Do them a favor and share this video. Literally share this video with someone. If you really genuinely care about that person, you, you have to share this video. Basically, first and foremost, I would like to say that A-level is not... A joke you know that video i made you know that video i made in 2021 that video when i said the five things you should know before you get into lower six what 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 and i was saying oh early boy is not hard hey it's just all about you know our guys i i wish i would take what i say back because reality on the ground it was hard guys it's hard don't let nobody tell you nothing it's hard guys <sighs> Child, I'm going to help you guys team a star to get those a stars we're talking about you know because we're all about a stars we're all about excelling all about prospering and succeeding in life you know so first things first how i aced my a levels in a pandemic um so i did four subjects i did english literature divinity history and english language for my divinity i got an a star and then i got an a for english literature i got an a for english and i got a b for what for history so basically like my teacher my teacher like the point my school said i got 20 points because apparently an a star is six points so anyways the first thing i did is i went through my syllabus you need to go through your syllabus and find out what's in your syllabus first of all because you're not about to read things that are not going to come in the exam you're not about to read and waste your time reading for things that are not even in your syllabus to begin it identify the things that the examiner requires you to know that way it's easier for you to read things that are actually going to benefit you that are actually going to you know produce something literally you're not wasting your time reading countless countless books and pdfs and modules on things that are never going to to come like why you do that though <laughs> the second thing is you need to read different type of texts from various authors and scholars you are not about to read one textbook on the french revolution or one textbook on hitler and say you're going to get into an a-level exam and you're gonna excel no boo no hard no you're going to read the book by alan bullock you're going to read the book the cie a-level history book you are going to read the one the international relations book into the international collapse and peace book you're going to read literally you need to read various pdfs modules textbooks on the same topic i vow if you want to get good results you need to read variety because each and every book has different ways of putting certain points across and the more you get to identify and the more you familiarize yourself with with those type of like um terminologies and texts you have a better chance of actually like impressing the examiner because they'll be like oh girl like this candidate knows what they are doing they know what they are doing for my end of exam i think i read more than 10 i read more than 10 pdfs some of them were 100 and something page literally textbooks i read more than 10 textbooks on hitler i read like literally you have to read everything you have to excessively read like to the point where if you're asked a certain question you know how to answer it the next thing that i did is past papers and reading the mark schemes like i won't lie guys practice makes perfect i did cambridge and the thing with cambridge is if you familiarize yourself with those like those topics or if you familiarize yourself with the way they ask you questions it will be easier for you to answer questions and answer what the examiner requires you to answer because especially for subjects like history they will literally ask you the same thing they've been asking previous years but then like it's just different wording 
literally you feel like they're asking a totally different question but it's the same thing it's the same thing they're asking you but in different wording so if you familiarize yourself with the way they answer questions you'll be able to answer according to the way they want you to answer which makes your life easier i read all my textbooks my pdfs i familiarize myself with the facts on the table on the ground i'll read literally the whole syllabus different texts and then i'll read Mark schemes. I'll read all the Mark schemes from 2014 to 2021. I'll literally remain June. I'll literally read all the Mark schemes. And then after that, I'll actually, what? I'll actually start asking myself. So I'll literally like start answering questions with the information I got from the Mark scheme. Of which, in a way, someone might say it's cramming, right? But then in a way, it kind of helps you know what you need to do, like what you mean to answer. You get what I mean? So it's not like you're literally like cramming you're just trying to like familiarize yourself okay this is what they want for this question and this type of question and this type of question which makes your life easier this brings us to the fourth point which is active recall i watched this video by nila grace i'm going to put it in the description box this video is a video on active recall scientific it's scientifically proven that the moment you act actively recall information you're more likely to remember it so really active recall it's like i read something like for example like what i said i read my mark schemes and then i take a question and then i start going through all my past papers i'm answering those questions and i'm actively recording the information i just came from reading and if you repetitively do that it makes it easier for you to recall information that way when you get into an examination and you ask this question you already know that this is and these are the type of points they want you know and this is the way i'm supposed to answer this point and this is the way i'm supposed to elaborate and explain especially for maths for physics for chem active recall it really really goes along with practical subjects like maths physics you know chemistry accounts those type of things economics geography active recall will help you to kind of familiarize yourself and constantly like remind yourself literally it's like repetitively doing the same thing over again until like you kind of familiarize yourself with that thing you get what i mean study sets and quizlet like study sets if you literally go on quizlet quizlet will give you everything like yo that was my best friend bruv that was my best that was my homie during exams like that was my best that was my homie during exams because that i'll literally search i'll literally search holocaust or i'll literally search hitler i'll literally search maybe poems by Derek walcott and it'll literally tell me the analysis it'll literally give me all the points it'll literally give me all the information that is literally in the cambridge syllabus so basically i was like using those flashcards to help me you know to help me like grasp information fast and familiarize myself like literally if i felt lazy to read those long long 150 page pdfs and and textbooks i already go to quizzes and i'll literally like have a 50 page like 50 flashcards that would help me familiarize myself with topics when i felt like i, I was getting a little bit tired so the thing with quiz the quiz are their flashcards literally like an like um an online based platform that produces flashcards for you. like people make them and you can also access them for free it's not like you're gonna pay for them it's for free so i would literally like use quiz that flashcards and those would actually help me to Film, like literally like go through like um certain information about maybe certain poems or uh, the certain book i was doing and literally each and every single book i did for literature i would get flashcards like this is the i this is the book i did for literature this 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 is the book i did for literature and i needed to cram quotation i won't lie guys i needed to cram quotations for this book this one and quizlet put through man put through pit thing that i'll tie to quizlet quizlet study set it's youtube videos guys youtube videos you know youtube videos will help you if you're a visual learner youtube is the like the thing for you literally search quantum physics on youtube and they'll direct you to a like a qualified teacher and that qualified teacher will help you to literally pl plot out the way you're supposed to work out that quantum physics study music lofi beats like inspired these non-copyright beats you find for like the youtubers these non-copyright beats we youtubers use i used to study to them because there's no way i am going to study to lyric music that is not possible mentally it will distract me like i will be like literally trying to read maybe a passage of my book on small island my book small island and then there's there's a song that's playing and i'm literally vibing to the lyrics like i don't know about you but i'm feeling 22 like it don't make sense it'll literally distract you to be so easy to distract you so studying music is thing for you like if you want to have a long concentration span you should 
focus on you know starting to study music low fee beats though really they're really calming they're soothing they help like uh, stimulate your brain cells enable for you to like to catch on to like certain like topics and certain like things fast they help you like catch on to certain like um information faster because it's study music it's meant for studying it's meant for studying <laughs> making your own simplified notes one thing like that you should do as a like a a level student right make your own simplified notes and i remember like my divinity teacher guys my divinity teacher yo like we used to fight about this give you like over like 20 textbooks and like read all these 20 textbooks right after that you would give you more notes to write you would give you like a whole textbook and like copy write these notes down and then you like from these notes make your own notes your simplified notes and i'm like what's the point if i'm still going to be reading the same information but what i didn't get from that right i kind of like started understanding it closer to my examination i don't know why these things happen but i kind of started getting it closer to my examination where I would understand when I would simplify my own notes for myself it makes it makes it easier for me to understand because I'm like making those notes so therefore when I'm writing like certain things they stick in my head because I'm like explaining them for myself literally I'm explaining these notes through writing and when I read them it makes it more it's, it makes it easier for them to stick in my head so making your own simplified notes is so 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 essential guys do not take it for granted do not do not like scorn your teachers not like hate them or despise them because they're making you write your own notes these things help I know I sound like I'm being an extremist guys but this is how I pass and if you want to pass you might also like you hop onto some of the things I did these two like journals like okay this is a journal and this is like a notebook right but I'll literally like write my simplified notes i vow i still have pages <laughs> let me actually show you guys i have pages when i was writing mark schemes literally i'll write mark schemes in here like i'll literally write mark schemes scholars quotations like i'll simplify things for myself so that it's easier for me to understand these certain things that i'm doing like it really helped guys genuinely i benefited a lot from making my own notes and i remember like i literally like remember my own notes more than the textbook so girl honey child boy <laughs> like yeah you should you should you should you should make your own simplified notes participate in class do your presentations do your assignments listen pay attention in class guys these things help i vow literally like majority of the time like i'll listen i'll literally participate in class right but it's like i wouldn't understand anything then i know when then i'm asked the question in class i'll literally know everything i'm like where do i know this from participate in class and also read ahead i know you might be overwhelmed with school and you might be overwhelmed with like so many subjects but if you read ahead right it makes it easier for you to grasp concepts faster because when you read ahead you now have your, your mind now has an idea of what you know you're meant to know of what like you're supposed to know and then if your teacher like literally teaches that topic that you read the night before you're going to grasp it easily you're going to understand it easily because you read ahead and already your mind has a picture and a, like an idea of what you're reading and it makes life easier for you but if you don't read ahead if you don't participate in class if you don't do your assignment if you don't do your presentations what are you doing literally why are you even going to school at this point like i don't even i don't even going to school anymore Take your presentation seriously if i told you're going to present on if i told you're going to present on uh, questionnaires or you're going to present on surveys by on a pilot server we're going to present on qualitative analysis or stoichiometry take it seriously guys take it seriously don't slack saying oh i don't care you know i already know this you even benefit more even though you're explaining to other people yes of course you're going to help other people right remember and understand the information but you are, you are going to remember more than those people because like you are the one explaining it it's like you already know it from the back of your head stand your study time and work with it literally when i say understand your study time and work with it it's me saying that like list like understand yourself like mentally if you work better during the day then prioritize studying during the day if you work better at night prioritize studying during the night and work with that don't try if you are someone who studies better at night don't try to force yourself to study in the afternoon because you know nothing is going to get in and vice versa don't force yourself to study in like certain like periods that you're not comfortable studying in if you know that you are more of like a night person or a morning person then study in the morning and know that you're gonna get 
a lot of pro like progress done you're gonna be more productive during the morning but if you are a night person and then you try to force yourself to study in the morning obviously you're not going to make any progress you're going to be wasting your time and you're going to drain yourself before you even study at night so work with your study schedule study times and work with times that are conducive for you don't try and force things you don't try and also force yourself to study for 24 hours yet you know if you study for three hours you know that you can get more information inside your head more than studying for 24 hours so also be realistic with yourself do not try and pull all nighters the night before your examination because you're wasting your time you're wasting your time read like three months before literally if you want to like understand your syllabus start reading three months before your exam if you start three months before your exams it's easier for you to understand and it's easier for you to recall information you won't have so much pressure on yourself you want to have like you won't be overwhelmed you won't be pressurized by like the time and now you're left with two weeks and you don't know like the first three topics of the syllabus now you're trying to force everything and this is a level this is not all level in all level you can do that but in a level you can't you have to be realistic with yourself and understand that a level is a lot of information and you cannot be forcing things to health and your health also matters don't try and like Honestly, like I remember my teacher tell like my child told me that even A level you have to sleep for five hours, which is literally good. If you sleep for five hours in A level, yeah, that's good. But if you sleep for three hours, that is not healthy. Obviously, yeah, you're going to start having migraines, you're going to start having bags underneath your eyes, you're going to get sick physically. Mentally, you're going to be always tired. So if you sleep for at least five hours when you're in A level, that is good. Because at least you know that if you're sleeping for five hours right you know that you're going to get something then you're going to produce something but if you sleep for more than five hours and you're in a level there's something wrong you need to stop you need to stop sleeping for five hours because literally the thing is yes you might be sleeping but then when the results day comes you you regret all that time you wasted sleeping so if you sleep for five hours right that is enough for an elo strength and also have like study breaks don't read for three hours straight take study breaks maybe after every 30 minutes of study you take a five minute break and you can just relax or you can do something literally i'll study for one hour right and then i'll watch a vlog or a youtube video or i'll do something that is literally like the opposite of school like i'll literally like I'll do, do like maybe if I'm reading history today, I'm reading divinity, right? Or I'm reading something on Elijah or Moses. I literally, I'll do something that has nothing to do with that. To just like relax my brain and make myself like more free and more more energized. Because imagine like reading, like, um, imagine reading on like Hitler or Elijah or Moses. And then you go and watch something related to that. You're literally still studying in a way. So you like, I'll really like divert my brain from something else that has nothing to do with school during my study breaks. And also like one thing that also helped during studying was snacking. Like I know it's not healthy, right? But what well, have you got to lose? <laughs> you've got a break to exercise to get fit <laughs> i'm joking but if you want to have a long concentration span in your like when you're studying right like have like snacks like maybe popcorn or like chips or juice okay honestly speaking i don't lie i used to snack a lot i used to snack a lot during my study sessions and to be honest it was worth it like if i look at my results it was worth it yes i gained weight right but it was worth it i can now like right now like i can now lose though i can now like start exercising and focusing on my my body goals like because now i know i've already achieved my academic goals so literally i would i would do whatever it took like for me to understand so i'd literally have chocolates i'll literally have sweets i would i would snack guys i would, I would snack and it helped like especially chewing gum i actually read that i actually read that it's scientifically proven that if you chew gum once you're studying you have a you understand and you read faster you understand the information better so i usually i used to literally like eat the lollipops that have bubble gum then after the lollipop finish i'll start chewing the gum like don't sleep too much but then also if you're tired right and you're exhausted don't force yourself to read more because you're wasting your time <laughs> you're wasting your time because nothing is getting in like if you force if you're like really extremely exhausted and then you start forcing yourself to read even more you're abusing yourself and you need a break so like literally take breaks when you feel like it's necessary and you feel like your brain like your body and your brain are no longer cooperating like just take a break and then you can get back to the work when you have like energy you know to read pomodoro effect is the one that i was talking about where you i literally like had to research these things like the pomodoro effect is when you study like for a certain period of time then you take a break like it's like an interval thing so the pomodoro effect also helps for you to like it helps like mode your study sessions your study sets and it also helps you understand and 
and concentrate better when you're like studying it makes you more productive the pomodoro effect right and if you if you want to know more about the pomodoro effect feel free to search the pomodoro like study method on youtube you literally find like uh, hundreds of videos on that the pomodoro like effect and what it does like how it helps you and all of that the most important thing is prayer and fasting there's no way you're telling me after all you've done you know after all i've said after all i've said someone can still fail someone can still fail like after all i've said right after all these like nine to ten points i've said someone can still fail like they can still fail this man because especially you're not you know you're not doing anything so like the last and the most important thing is prayer and fasting like literally like during this the, during after six during exam periods you need to pray you need to fast guys if you do not do those things you won't get the results you want like you won't get you will get results but then you will be disappointed trust me like prayer and fasting prayer and fasting answers all things prayer and fasting like those two things if you tie them together you can get anything you can conquer anything like anything any battle in life you can conquer it so also this is how i also like genuinely this is how i um also got my my also like aced my it was i was praying and fasting i would i would fast like okay the thing is i wouldn't f i would pray and i would pray like every single day like I would pray like every single time, like even before my study session and after I would literally like live, I would breathe the word of God, right? But then like I knew that it was impossible for me to fast during the week because during the week is where I would read, where I would need to study and snack at night. It was impossible for me to do that. So I literally like and the school like it was so hot that I could not like not eat anything. Like I would really like like faint nay i would faint so how i did it personally i would fast during like on weekends i would fast on weekends and then um literally like i would then the whole week i would be normal but i would just fast on weekends and i feel like it really really helped like i saw like the the like the importance of it and i i saw the results so yeah one thing i could encourage you fast pray do not put pressure on yourself you're going to be all right and also like do not understand your capabilities like oh understand obviously like i might be like sounding a bit like like sunny a bit you know like shady like this might sound shady right but then like also like know your like capabilities as a person right if you know you're an average C student right obviously like you cannot you cannot put so much pressure on yourself and say I want to get a stars like you get what i mean like you understand what i mean like sometimes you have to be realistic yourself and understand that maybe i am my average in chemistry is the d and like genuinely right you know that the the if you have not so passed if you have like really extremely passed you get a b like a b right be realistic yourself like don't like understand like your academic capabilities and don't try and force things as well because honestly like like there's some obviously like god can bless you i want like god can bless you abundantly beyond all that you could ask when you give your a stars but i'm just saying like sometimes you have to also like give yourself realistic goals and set realistic goals your academic goals if you know like maybe i average your your average like literally genuinely speaking your average results i is right and you set your goal to have c's right that is realistic right that is realistic like for you otherwise you'll be killing yourself like you will suffer this is how i ace my levels during in a pandemic it was hard like but then like i really told myself i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get these results i'm gonna do whatever it takes Thanks for watching this video like please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and comment if you also wrote a levels like me like if you are all three baby and you receive your results please also write your tips and tricks on how people can actually what get good results in the comment section thank you so much for watching and until next time <laughs>